We're back to give you the legal edge. In the next few weeks, the Michigan Supreme Court is expected to hear arguments and testimony involving a Michigan law that helps protect property owners and businesses from liability claims if someone gets hurt on their property. Afterwards, the court will decide if it will take up the case. Here's attorney Brian Waldman to explain the open and obvious danger doctrine and why he says many lawyers think it should be changed or modified in a big way. In a premises liability case where somebody is suing uh, a property owner, a store owner, someone in, in possession of property because they get injured due to what they perceive as a dangerous condition, whether it's you know, liquid on the floor that causes them to slip or a bad stair tread or a pothole in the parking lot or snow and ice. Um, Michigan uh, law says that the property owner does not owe any duty to fix that problem or warn of it or do anything if an average person of ordinary intelligence would have recognized that, that potentially dangerous uh, condition upon casual inspection. And so it's a total relief of any obligation or liability of the landowner. And, and most lawyers, I think, in Michigan are, are critical of that law. They think it's bad public policy. You know, you're basically telling a, a store owner, a landowner, if it's bad, you don't need to fix it. In fact, if you make it worse, it'll be easier for the average person to see it, and that will relieve you of any potential liability for failing to maintain your store or property. It's also led to, to many unfair and, and very harsh results. I know of at least two cases uh, where the courts reported that a blind person fell and was injured uh, on, a, on a wet floor or something on a floor in a store, in a large you know, multi-use store, and they alleged it was an unsafe condition. And the courts ruled, and they, they did it apologetically, that the average person would not be blind. And so the average person would have seen the water on the floor, would have seen the unsafe condition. And in one of the cases, I believe, there was evidence that a bathroom where the person fell uh, had not been maintained for eight days, uh, even though the internal policies clearly said it should be maintained multiple times during a day. And so the courts have said, we're sorry, it's a harsh result. We don't like it, but that's the law of the land. That's the precedent. And we'll have to wait and see what the Supreme Court does after the arguments in early March.